A blue-collar dog of royal descent. A sporting dog that's anything but sporty. Hardly a household name, but a champion nonetheless. The aristocrats of spaniels and the spaniels of aristocrats are guaranteed to slobber their way into your heart. The Clumber Spaniel. According to author and historian Peggy Grayson, they've been favored by dukes, princes, and kings for over 200 years. There's no record where the first Clumbers came from, but there is a, a quotation in the book that I wrote from Queen Victoria's diary that she went out with Prince Albert to see his, his lovely Clumber Spaniels working with a, a funny old keeper. So he must have had quite a few of them, and it, it, it did seem to be the thing for the nobility uh, to have Clumber Spaniels. The Clumber Spaniel's unique construction made them the ideal hunting dog for the royal's rough wooded country estate. Their keen sense of smell allowed them to sniff out the game. They were bred long and low to go through the brush, not around it. So they burrowed through the underbrush to flush the game out of hiding for the gunman. From there, they would retrieve the game with their soft mouth. A term that refers to the heavy flues that keep them from marring the game. Of course, it's those big lips that also make them pretty good at slobbering. To protect them from branches and thorns, the clumber's loose skin moves with the underbrush rather than tearing. All in all, they're a perfect fit for rough terrain. Clumbers always seem to have a look of, ah, who cares, nothing could excite me. All that skin tends to make them appear somewhat lethargic. So while they come from the sporting group of dogs, you might get the feeling that there's nothing sporty about them. These are clumbers. They eat and they sleep. <laughs> While clumbers are known to be protective of children, their versatility allows them to have something to offer just about anyone. Royal hunting dogs and loyal and affectionate companions. Though they might frustrate you with their hard-headedness, they'll make you laugh with their antics. All of the clumbers tend to be clowns at times. They kind of have their own agenda. There's been a lot of situations um, where they've been in a, in a show ring and they've simply decided it would be more fun to be up in the stands and they've gone over the ring and up into the stands. Clumbers can be a bit unpredictable, but we'll predict that once you latch on to one of these guys, you'll never let go.